In this video I'm going to have a look at an aerial photograph from 1937, September 1937, a small part of the Western Road. This is the zoomed out view to get your orientation. Over here is the Mitton Fairgreen. You can make out this building as the Majestic Cinema. So in 1937 this had only recently been built, that being St Mark's Road, that being the London Road. Monarch Parade is being built here. One block has been finished, another one to be completed. Eagle House is there. This is Sibfort Road, Western Road, Gladstone Road, Fountain Road. Zoom in. So, on this side is the gas works. And this track is Fieldgate Lane. And we're going towards Western Road. So this is Gladstone Road. Housing on both sides, but around about here is the Mission Hall, Gladstone Mission. And now between Gladstone Road and Fountain Road, there are some shops. This 1952 map is useful as it shows us the position of the Mission Hall in Gladstone Road. And also it's useful because it gives us door numbers of the properties. So we can see that the numbering of Western Road started at the Fair Green and went up as it went towards Collier's Wood with the even numbers on the right hand side and the odd numbers on the left hand side. So this was the fountain. Let's have a look at a photograph from Eric Montague in the 70s. This is actually 1966. Love Lane. There's the Fountain Pub. Fountain Road to the right. And this road's leading towards Collinswood. This yard was called Swings Yard. According to Eric Montague, in his book Upper Mitcham and Western Road, part of the Mitcham History Series, Swings Yard was one of Mitcham's last caravan yards, and it could be found on the southern side of Western Road, just beyond Love Lane. And behind it was a scrapyard. Here is a photograph of Swings Yard, also taken in 1966. And this building here was called the Raven Spring Works. A photograph taken in 1974. Montague says that there was a stone high in the gable end abutting the road that said established 1877. The actual Raven Spring though was nearer to Morden Hall Park. Robert Ellis of Elm Lodge bought the, Mo the White Cottage on Walden Road in 1879 and sank an artesian well behind it. He set up a small factory in offices to sell mineral water from his Ravens Spring, presumably named after the Ravensbury Park nearby. Within just a few years, his business had grown enough for him to move into larger premises at the Raven Spring Works. In 1895, a company that had been set up in 1878 called the Chemists Aerated Mineral Water Association Limited, or CAMWAL, C A M W A L, bought the Raven Spring Works and established their factory there, as, it, as stated in this notice. A new factory has been opened in Mitcham, sorry. Raven Spring. At Mitcham, the water of which has been analysed and pronounced by experts to be unsurpassable for the manufacturer of table waters. An excellent factory fitted with the best up-to-date machinery is now completed. Nearly 3,000 chemists have already joined hands in this business and this number is steadily increasing. The Camwell company seemed to have done very well for themselves and expanded across the country. This, ad this advertisement from 1909 shows the various products that they were selling. But while the name of the building Raven Spring Works originally referred to the Raven Spring at Morden Hall, it seems that there was also an artesian well tapped at this location. 
This is the Memoirs of the Geological Survey, Records of London Wells, published in 1913, which has an entry near the gasworks. Chemists Aerated Mineral Water Association Limited. It supplied 1,000 gallons an hour. If you like this video, please press the like button. I'll be making some more, so perhaps you might want to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.